Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about Flux Control Net all in one model. We will try to test it using different Control Net preprocessors and I will also show you how you can upscale images using the tile control net as we did before but this time we will be using the flux models goof which is known as the best model for image generation so without further ado let's dive into tutorial the control net all-in-one model was released in a while now i tried to use it in my previous video using the control net flux models but i didn't succeed to create the wanted images but today it is possible to use it using the goof models as you can see, the all-in-one model allows you to use different control net preprocessors like the Canny, the Open Post, the Depth Map, and also the Tile. So, to start out, you need to download this model using this huggingface.com. This, this hugging face link, you can find all the necessary link on my workflow here. Just go to File, download this 6.6 GB version, then make sure to store it in your comfy Y root folder. Go to Model search for control net and make sure to paste your file here i rename it all in one flux in order to use it more easily good now we need to install some additional node in order to to make it work and this node is the control net apply sd3 to do that just use this link here copy paste it now make sure to copy the code go to your comfy y root folder enter custom nodes then the search bar type in cmd then type in git clone and paste your code here and you will install automatically these nodes once it is done close this window here search for for these nodes enter the file and the search bar type in again cmd then just copy this code here to install the requirements paste it here and click enter and now you can use these nodes more easily. Once it is done, make sure to close your comfy UI and restart it. The second thing that we're gonna need is the Flux Goof model. To do that, you can also use my link. And here you will find different models. Make sure to download the development Q4 KS version, which is the more faster according to my previous test. You can also watch my previous video about this goof model control net but to load it you need uh, the unit loader for the goof model and i will also show you how you can install this okay so to install the unit loader just use this link here you can find everything on my workflow just copy the code go to your comfy y root folder under custom notes and type in cmd just type in again git clone and paste your code here and once it is done we need to install the requirements but this time we're gonna do it differently just copy on the github page just copy this code here from python text until the end of the talk of the code go to comfy y under comfy y windows portable type in here cmd and Paste your code here in order to install the necessary requirements without having any issue. Don't forget to go to comfy y root folder under model and search for unit. Here make sure that you copy your flux uh, goof model that we downloaded earlier. Now that we have everything we need, let's jump to the workflow. Okay, this workflow is divided into two parts. The first part here that we have the control net preprocessors and we will insert our image in order to transform it using different control net the first group is the flux model where you can choose to use the unit loader for the goof model or you can choose the classic fp8 development model for my case i prefer working with the goof model since it is more faster compared to my pc then the model is plugged here on the second group where we have the control net all in one uh, related notes starting with the load control net model here you can select your control net model the apply control net where we have the positive and the negative prompt the vae encode and uh, this uh, the image of our control net preprocessors for the vae make sure to use the ai vae for these notes and the last group is here when we have our load image I have prepared a series of different control net preprocessors like Canny and Depth Anything. Then I will plug the results of the preprocessors here. 
After that, everything is plugged into a simple key sampler, then the image is created here. So, since uh, this controlled version is all in one, I tried with different preprocessors. Here, you can see the second part of my workflow where I have the same control net uh, applied with different preprocessor, which is the tied preprocessors. Then, I also have the simple key samplers, but for the VAE encode and decode, I chose you need to work with the styled VAE encode and decode since it is very accurate for this type of uh, operations but before we do that I make sure to connect the part 1 with the part 2 using this image prepare using this nodes first we're gonna upscale our image by factor of 2 then we're gonna downgrade our image in order to use it more easily for the tile preprocessors after that this data is transferred to the tile here and it is also transferred to this tile calculation group where we get the image size of these created images then we will do some tile cal calculation using those nodes I also made a special video about this uh, tile calculation you can also watch it if you want and finally this data is transferred to the key sampler in order to upscale the resolution of our image while having additional details so we will try to test out this control net version and see if it is working with different uh, preprocessors we will start with this scanny just plug it here and on the prompt type image of a robot with glowing armor part i will delete this as you can see i choose a simple prompt now i will click q prompt and see the results but before we doing that let me show you the strength of all my control net here for the first preprocessors i chose a strength value between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 it depends on the final results but you can vary these uh, parameters however for this style control net make sure to have a strength value lower than 0 0.5 and higher than 0 0.3 in order to obtain good and uh, cohesive results Okay, I will try to click Q prompt and I will show you the uh, image later. Okay, here I have my results using the Canny control net preprocessors. As you can see, the obtained image is quite uh, related to the input image and the result is not uh, so impressive. However, I did a test with the tile control net. As you can see, it adds some additional details to the picture. It is more impressive compared to the previous scanny version. And once it is done, you can try to upscale this image using these simple nodes with the 4 times ultra sharp model. Just make sure to plug the image here. And once it is generated, it will create automatically this final image with high resolution. Let's open up the image. As you can see, it was upscaled by a factor of 4. Now I will show you another version using the Depth Anything control net, which is, according to me, the best uh, control net preprocessor. If you want to do some image to image, I strongly recommend you to do the Depth Anything with this control net all in one or with the, the old control net v3 version. If you want to have this uh, same comfy Y menu on the top here, make sure to go to the setting here you can find this menu tab here make sure to select it on the top and also choose the button it's up to you now okay let's click q prompt and see together the results of the depth anything version okay here we have our results for the depth and tile control net version and you can clearly see that the results is very impressive the tile adds some extra details to the image and it is more impressive compared to the original ones of course, those reference image was made using the depth model of the control net. Then I add the tile after generated this depth images of control net. It is clearly succeeded add details to the images. So we can assume that this control net all in one version works perfectly fine using this uh, goof model. And if you like these results, you can try to upscale it using this uh, upscale uh, model of the ultra sharp model. Or you can also use the ultimate SD upscale to obtain more impressive results. I will not cover that uh, on this video since the, the goof model, since the upscaling take me too much resource. But you can try to use it if you want. 
Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to watch my other video. Push the like button for me, leave me a comment and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.